Registered Phenomena Code 890 Object Class Beta Yellow Designation is currently being contested. Hazard Types Memory Alteration Teleportation Containment Protocols RPC-890 is to be contained within a standard holding locker on the east wing of Site-012. To prevent breaches, its location is to be made easily available to all staff, and its locker is to require minimal security clearance. System errors due to the gaps created by RPC-890 are still currently being addressed. Description. RPC-890 is a large glass mason jar of average making quality, inscribed with the Authority logo. If RPC-890 is moved into a location where the number of Authority personnel able to easily access it is below a certain amount, such as in classified, sparsely populated facilities, behind locked doors, etc., it will randomly teleport to an easily accessible location within an Authority site. Attempts to decommission RPC-890 by breaking it have had a similar result, with the anomaly's destruction simply leading to its demanifestation and re-manifestation elsewhere. Individuals who make visual contact with RPC-890 are instantly informed of the anomalous capabilities of RPC-890-1. The mechanism in which this happens is not understood. However, said persons have expressed an inability to communicate said capability to others. Attempts at interviewing individuals have unanimously resulted in silence, even under the threat of punishment. RPC-890-1 designates 203 small green pills contained within RPC-890, filling it to around a tenth of its total capacity. The number of RPC-890-1 instances within RPC-890 remains consistent upon manifestation. Removal of an instance without consumption leads to its disappearance and reappearance within RPC-890 within two hours. Human ingestion of an RPC-890-1 instance appears to be the only method of permanently removing an instance from RPC-890. Analysis of instances reveal that, chemically, RPC-890-1 instances are sugar pills. The effect of consuming an instance of RPC-890-1 is, at the moment, not fully understood. Evidence within authority registries and data have revealed numerous gaps where primary information name, age, etc. on certain theoretical individuals has been completely erased, leaving only secondary information, accomplishments, actions, etc. For instance, a record may claim that an award was given to an individual whose name is completely expunged. Interviews with personnel who allegedly knew about said theoretical individual reveal similar gaps. For certain individuals who allegedly have emotional bonds with said non-entity, such a procedure can often be distressing. Examination of physical evidence has revealed most of all secondary information found without primary information to be true. However, individuals described this way have yet to be located. Information pertaining to the Authority's repeated testing of the ingestion of RPC-890-1 has been revealed to be devoid of primary information about individuals who have consumed said instance. Following initial discovery, the number of RPC-890-1 instances within RPC-890 has decreased at seemingly random intervals. Investigation into potential causes of decreases are still ongoing. As the amount of RPC-890-1 instances decreases, staff has reported an increase in foul odors emanating from RPC-890 storage wing.